Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with a project using the May Click Kit. And this is for the challenge going on on the blog and I believe the Facebook page today. So I am using this photo of our dog Jack who is, as you can see, snuggled into our guest bed. And I just thought it was really cute. So I wanted to kind of do it black and white. This is the cutout um, that comes with the kit. And I tried to do it once by putting the ink on some packaging and then putting it on, you know, flattening it on. And that didn't work. So I've just tested it out here on my oops page to see if I like the way it looked with the, with the mist. And I really did. So I'm going to use it as a stencil which I think is really fun and I hope to get a layout done later this month where I use that the, the stencil or the die cut with the spray on it as part of, of a layout because I think you can get dual use out of it. You can use it as a stencil and then you can also use it as, you know, a piece of your of your layout or a part of your your layout. So I'm just trying to like positioning it to see which way I like it better. And then I'm gonna use this um it's a I think it's called inky black or something from Mr. Huey but if you don't have this mist you can make some with just like black acrylic paint and water and add a little bit of alcohol because that'll help it dry so I have let that I have let this dry and then I actually flipped the orientation of it because I liked it better in the bottom left hand corner and then I've just cut that little camera as you can see out of one of the I think it was a three by four card what I really liked about some of the papers in this kit is that they had a lot of elements that you could use to make your own embellishments like little images and icons that you could cut out and and use and so that's what I did with some of them then I'm taking this sticker from I think it's Kessie Art is the brand and it's one of the sh the extras in the store and you can use um, I think I have a discount code I'll put it down below and get 10% I think it's 10% off of the products in the store not the kits just the extra products or the add-ons I think they call them um, and I just take a little bit of that powder that's in that little container is what you use when before you emboss and I just put that on the back of the sticker because it takes the sticky off then I put one of the branding strips on the top of the layout which is this really pretty like kind of washed wood grain color and then I also cut that tag out I'm using some of the washi strips from the Rise and Shine collection and then the piece in the background that looks like um, the same as the stencil is one of the 4x6 cards. I've also cut these little labels out of one of the sheets of paper and then I'm cutting these little wood grain stars again out of one of the pieces of paper. So most of the embellishments that I'm using on this layout, I and I say made like with air quotes, I didn't really make them, I just you know cut them out and and utilize them as embellishments rather than, you know, as a piece of paper, I guess is a better way to describe it. It's kind of hard to describe, actually. I also just layered some different uh, pattern papers behind my photo here, a pink and a green, I think it is. And I'm just kind of giving the edges a little bit of texture. I don't want them to be like super flat on the layout. I want them to have a little bit of, of texture to them. And then I am gluing this camera down and I did pull a white paper clip out of my stash, like an arrow paper clip. I can't remember if that stays on the layout or not. I know some of this bottom part is going to change a few times because I kept having this weird gap that I needed to, to fix. One trick I love about using tags or any anything really pattern paper is to cut it in half and stick it on either side and that way it looks like you have a full tag there when really you do, you don't you just cut it in half and then I realized that that didn't look right because it was not lined up and I had also already glued some stuff down so I couldn't get there I didn't want the lines on both sides I just wanted the lines on the left hand side because I wasn't going to use it for journaling so I I rarely journal on my layouts anymore a lot of times I will journal on the back of them or I'll put like an index card with some journaling on it behind the layout. I don't know why I've gotten away from that. I just, I just have. But now I'm adding some white photo corners. I just, I love photo corners. And I just like the look that they give to a layout. And I think this is when I start fiddling with things. Oh, I add this cloud, but I think I end up taking that off. 
I really like these uh, epoxy embellishments and I love this alphabet but I didn't want the alphabet to be craft because I didn't really have any other craft elements going on in the layout not that you need to to use a craft alpha I just I kind of I liked the whole black and white thing with a little bit of wood grain and a little little bit of color so what I'm gonna do is take some I think I take some yeah white um, acrylic paint and I'm gonna test it out on a letter that I think I used a Z or something that or an X that I wouldn't normally use and just see how it looks and it kind of, I really like it because it kind of gives this whitewashed look because you can still see the craft through it it kind of makes it look more like that wood grain paper and I do add a couple of um, layers of paint to these to these alphabets just to get them a little more opaque because as you can see as it dries it's very transparent so you you can really see the craft through it and so I want it to be a little bit more white than that and I just took some of the sticky off the back of the letter so that I could move them around and when I put them down the layout I'll add some glue behind them I believe so as you can see I'm just doing a couple of layers there of the white paint and I have let them dry I did add a little photo corner there and then the, one of the labels with the date stamped on it and I'm gonna add a couple of little enamel dots from my collection or maybe not maybe just one I think I add one more yeah I think they're little hearts actually yeah I think I'm, I'm just looking for some other enamel dots to add Oh, I should have edged this part out. <laughs> I really wanted to use those bows, but it's a boy dog, so I didn't. And just apparently I'm going to go through all of them. So now I'm taking some of this multi matte medium from, I think it's from Ranger, and I'm using that to adhere the alphabet because you remember I took the sticky off of it. So um, <clears throat> I need a way for it to stick down and they're way too skinny to use my glue gun my glue gun would it's so it puts out so much glue it would, would not work so at first I kind of thought you know maybe this alphabet you can't doesn't really show up enough and it doesn't it's not like a big prominent part of the layout it kind of blends in but the more I looked at it the more I kind of liked the way that it blended in like that and so I, I ended up just leaving it I could have added something behind it but I decided I didn't want to. So you can see I cut that 4x6 card down some because, like I said, it was just there was this awkward kind of space down there that just wasn't really working. And so I um, I got rid of that black and white part because I, I kind of wanted more of the, the misting to show also. And then I think I got rid of the green label I had behind there and just went with the black and white label. And the reason why I call this a bad Jack is because he knows he is not supposed to be up there. And then I'm just going to add this little, I always end up with little triangle pieces of pattern paper when, when I'm making layouts. And so I just love like sticking them behind photographs or just in little places. I just think that they, they make a, a nice addition to, to layering and things like that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just fussing. So I did outline that little photo corner on the left. Oh, now I'm going to fuss with this. <laughs> I just moved it up. And now I'm going to have to cut that <laughs> four by six card even more. I'm sorry. I filmed this layout like almost a month ago, probably. So, and I guess that's, that's the end. So <laughs> thanks guys so much for watching and check out click kits and play along with the challenge. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.